Hi there, in this video we are looking at the Nano X filter kit from Ken Faith. Like a lot of people, I jumped on the Promise train a few years ago as well, but I was never super stoked about the, the results that I got. So my Promise filter ended up in a drawer and not in my camera bag. Now, fast forward about two years when Canfaith, the company also known as KNF Concept, contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in trying and reviewing any product in their lineup. So I figured maybe it's time to give Diffusion Filters a second chance and hopefully get it right this time. So here they are, the Nano X filters. Each filter comes with its own little case, just like this. And one of these kits with two filters will set you back about 108 bucks at the time of this video. If you're getting the biggest, the 82 mil version, which I can highly recommend, and we might get into why in just a second. But just to compare these filters with something like the, the Black Pro Mist from Tiffin, which also sits at around 104 to 120 bucks per filter, getting two for basically the same price can be kind of a no brainer if the quality is good. And spoiler alert, I actually prefer the look of these nano filters a bit more over the Tiffin. The Tiffin Pro Mist creates more of a smear effect while the Nano X filters are more controlled and I think they do a better job at preserving more detail and the overall levels in your image. Now, I'm not looking for a super dreamy soft effect. I just want some extra sauce to kind of shift the image into something that we're not expecting that we're not so used to seeing. It's that kind of level, that subtle kind of effect that I'm looking for, just to give you an idea of where I'm coming from and the type of look that I prefer when it comes to mist filters or whatever we want to call them. By the way, these are called black diffusion filters, so let's call them diffusion filters from now on. Now, I'm not gonna go into the whole whether diffusion filters makes your footage look more cinematic or not. I think that's a whole <laughs> other discussion and I'm sure there will be some of that in the comment section of this video. Feel free to leave your opinions about the, the whole diffusion filter and, and cinematic and, and all that stuff. All I can say is that I can appreciate the effect of these Nano X filters in some situations. And I think it can be fun to make creative decisions and kind of force yourself into to a creative situation out on location instead of just adding everything in post. Just being able to see and experience everything while you're out shooting can sometimes have a great effect on your creativity. At least, at least on mine, that's why I like Fujifilm cameras so much. I don't think that adding uh, one eighth or a quarter strength diffusion filter on your lens and just call it good and use it for pretty much everything is the way to go. I think that's what a lot of people did back in the days when, when mist filters were kind of a thing. And I think that's why we don't see mist filters being used that much these days. One of the reasons why I think that you should get at least two different densities or strength of these filters is to have more control over that effect in camera. Now, the effect will increase on a longer lens, and you're also gonna get more or less of that blooming effect depending on the aperture you're shooting at. So depending on what and how you're shooting, if you're on a longer lens, you may wanna step down a bit on the amount of diffusion to get the same amount of clarity in, in a close-up shot compared to a wide or a mid shot with a wider lens, if that makes any sense. And I don't think I fully understood all of this the first time around when I started using Promist filters. I think most of us jumping on this train did the same kind of thing. We just bought a 1 8 Promist filter, slapped it on our lens, and we, we used it for everything. And some shots looked okay, while others just looked weird and, and, and fussy. So, you know, like I said, we're trying to do diffusion <laughs> or, sorry, yeah, diffusion filters right this time over. Now, having two filters also allows you to stack them on top of each other if you need higher density for a super wide shot.
Another thing that I think most of us know by now is that diffusion filters can have kind of a pleasing effect on skin texture, making it look a bit more smooth and a bit more even. I'm not sure if it's gonna do any wonders on this grumpy face, but just to show you some examples between the different densities, here's a quick little side by side. So maybe it's the fact that I know just a bit more and understand a bit more about diffusion filters now <laughs> compared to back in the days when I first jumped on that train. So let's do a quick little pros and cons on these filters to, to kind of wrap things up. And I will show you some more examples while we do this. So the first thing that I really, really like about these filters, this kit is obviously that it allows you to get two filters for pretty much the price of one. And I also really like the more control character of the Nano X filters compared to the Tiffin Pro Mist. But I know that's gonna come down to a personal taste, obviously, and also the type of effect that you want or that you're looking for for, for a specific scene. Maybe if you want some, some really, really super bloomy effect sometime, maybe the Pro Mist filters would be the better way to go. But I think you can get more use out of the Nano X filters. I think they're more universal. I also like that they've added these tiny little grooves here on the side of the uh, the filtering. It makes it a lot easier to just get the filters on and off your lens if you're using these screw-on versions like I do. There's also magnetic and square filters if you want to use these with a matte box. So I will link all of those different options down below in the, uh, in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Now, when it comes to cons, and it's been quite difficult to find anything significant to, to really complain about. The one con that I saw one guy bring up, just to give you an example about how difficult it is to, to find things to complain about. Uh, I think he said that the filters were facing the wrong way, or the, the threaded side was facing up when he opened the case to grab the filters, so he had to kind of turn them around before he could um, screw them onto his lens. That's not something that's gonna go on my pros list. I think it's just better to, to put the, the filter the other way around in the box, or if you should be in a rush and accidentally put the, the filter down in the case the wrong way, just you know flip the case over and grab it from, from that end. So, and like I said, that's not gonna go on my, my list of cons. And for cons, I don't think there's anything else so i'm gonna leave you with that these are just great if you want to get into using mist filters or if you want to give mist filters a second chance definitely check out the nano x filters from ken faith i think you will enjoy these so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye